what is the role of a scrum master in a safe environment and how can you understand safe in full scale agile framework in less than five minutes this is a question a lot of people often get confused when they have been asked what is your role as a scrum master in a safe environment we are going to give you a very short formula on how you can be able to respond to this question not only respond to the question but how you can understand how to narrate the role of a scrum master in a safe environment but specifically what makes the difference between scrum and safe we're going to cover that in this video in less than no time hello welcome to the scrum chat room with dr francis Mbunya. happy wednesday if you're new here hit the subscribe button and this friday we are going to implement a safe training certification program if you want to join click the link below or simply send me a text and you will be right in that class for anyone who is not yet safe scrum master safe scrum master certified you're missing a lot you definitely want to be safe scrum master certified so that you can broaden your horizon so that you can get to understand scrum in full now i want to start by giving you the difference between safe and scrum and sometimes a lot of people feel like oh safe is a higher version of scrum so i need to start with maybe csm and uh, uh psm first then i do safe that is not true now what is safe safe simply means k agile framework and sometimes it is also called scrum as k right so and safe contain two circles in scrum we have a spring which is a circle right in safe we have an iteration which is equivalent to a spring and then we have now the add event which is the bigger part which is what separate scrum from safe but i'm going to break it down a scrum master in a normal scrum environment facilitate scrum event from the spring planning to daily stand-up to backlog refinement uh, to retrospective and to spring review to ensure that the project is delivered iteratively to the client in a safe environment a scrum master participate in program planning and program planning create now an opportunity for the scrum master to now implement the normal spring planning but in a safe environment it's not called spring planning it's called iteration planning but it's equivalent to spring planning so remember in a scrum environment a scrum master is not engaged in the collection of requirement or maybe the breaking down of futures into the backlog where the team start working on now the scrum master start working from the product backlog in a safe environment a scrum master participate in program planning increment which is a scenario where which is an event where futures are being broken down into stories and loaded in the backlog so the scrum master is part of the team that load the story into the backlog that's the first key difference between scrum and safe and now when the story are loaded into the backlog what happened you continue the normal process that is being done in a scrum environment now just with this example or just with this explanation you can say that there is no major difference between scrum and safe apart from the fact that in a safe environment you need to learn how to assist at the level of the program to be able to break down the futures into the backlog and then you continue with your work as a scrum master now this is the reason why the safe certification is a very it's an added value to your journey because you don't only know how to assist at the team level you also know how to interact at the program level now what is the key difference or what is your role as a scrum master in a safe environment number one for you to understand this question very clearly you need to understand what we call the ad event ad stands for agile release train now in a safe environment the difference is we have multiple teams working on one product i always like to give this example let's say that 
you are into catering or you're into deco right and you have three events to provide deco or decoration in one week what you can do is that you can distribute your time to ensure that all of these events have the best deco within one week right let's take another scenario within one week you have about 50 events to provide deco what are you going to do can you alone provide that deco no so you are going to now form different teams that are going to represent you but because the contract is given to you you need now to put in place is a program that every person that is leading a team can come to that program and you teach them how you want them to do it you make sure that they are using specifically what will help you achieve your goal that's simple that's how scrum environment a safe environment operate in a scrum environment there's just um two or three teams implementing you can you don't need a special event call the program increment now we have 60 events you cannot do it by yourself within the same time period so you need now to implement a program where you can coordinate those who are going to help you do that within the same period so when we talk about save now we talk about the agile release train so the agile release train is like everyone in your team coming together to plan because our goal is to achieve a common vision right a common vision because we're driving towards a common vision there is a need first of all to come together at a higher level called pi planning to plan what we are going to implement at a team level so the role of a scrum master in a safe environment first you participate in pi planning program increment planning what is your role in program increment planning you facilitate the team the effort of your team there are two sessions we call it breakout room one breakout room two and you're able to help them break the futures that have been assigned to them into stories take for just take for instance in an event you are assigning the different roles you are going to give the team exactly what you want them to implement in their various station when they're doing their deco now the team themselves they would pick out those items and put them where in their to-do list which is the backlog the bucket way which contain everything and then from there what is going to happen they start implementing it so in a pi planning the future that have been given to a team the scrum master help them or facilitate to break it down into stories and they load it in their backlog so a pi planning event it's more of a bigger spring or iteration planning in this case you're trying to plan across several weeks up to six weeks right now at this point considering that there are several teams working together they need to be collaboration you the scrum master you are collaborating with other scrum master in an event called the scrum of scrum during the pi planning at the same time you are helping your team you are working with your developer to identify other things they will be collaborating with we call this dependency during the implementation of the iteration and make sure that they agreed on what time they're going to be using to build their project and what time they are going to deliver their own part so that collaboration is very important because we have several teams working together there is that need for us to come together in a two days event called pi planning to plan and to align ourselves so that when we pull back to our team and we start implementing our normal scrum work what's going to happen there's not going to be chaos so the pi invite uh, event help us to align to a common vision and synchronize so that we can flow in a cadence very simple so you the scrum master what you need to do know that oh you're helping your team in breakout room one break down their stories into their backlog and then at the end of day one management review it and then bring back feedback day two simply just adjust uh based on the recommendation for management and then you roam your rigs now uh rigs roaming we're going to talk about that in a different day now secondly 
what you also do as a scrum master in a safe environment after that you facilitate all the events but what is also very important which is a part which i want also you to pay attention is the last spring or the last iteration in the ad in the agile release train or in the pi circle the last week in the pi circle it's always left empty no work is planned there that is the week where the next pi is planned that week is called innovation and planning iteration right in the innovation and planning iteration is where you prepare for the next spring how do you prepare for the next spring as a scrum master the first thing you want to do is that you want to make sure that your team is closing the previous pi by making sure if they need to document they need to close out some work they need to uh put stuff on, on conference board all of them are putting them on. Then you also need to liaise up with your release train engineer to start thinking about the different futures you're going to be working on on the next uh, uh, PI and start working on them. But most importantly is what we call the PI system demo and the inspect and adapt workshop. The PI system demo is where the entire solution that the team, all the teams were, bu were building is demoed. But then another important event called inspect and adapt workshop which is also called a problem solving workshop where you also identify what were the some of the problems that held us back as a team what helped us to advance and you're able to apply problem solving techniques to react to in order to make sure that anything that was a hindrance you find a solution and then that solution is put in the uh, program backlog as an enabler. All right, just with this, you already have an overview of what the Scrum Master does in the PA environment. Now, if I want to summarize this in less than one minute, my role as a Scrum Master in a PI environment is a liaise with a release training engineer and a program management to ensure that my team is assigned the futures that they need to implement in the PI circle. And I facilitate in breakout room one and breakout room two to ensure that my team is breaking down all of these futures into their backlog to ensure that they are estimating work rightly according to their capacity to ensure that they are only committing to work that they can complete. I also help my team to identify all possible risks and all possible dependency that might hinder the team and make sure that all of these are addressed before the end of the PI, uh, PI planning. Now, when the PI planning is over, I work with my team to implement all the work that was loaded into the uh, um, team backlog. And at the end of the PI circle, I also make sure that I facilitate my team participation in the PI system demo and in the inspect and adapt workshop, where we basically look at the problems that we actually face, both on people, tools, and uh, um, environment. And we're able now to brainstorm on them so that we can learn from them in the next PI circle. As simple as that. All right, do not forget to subscribe on our channel and do not forget check on the resources below. If you want coaching, join our community. There's so many resources there that can help you close that gap in less than no time. I'll see you in the next video.